Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, greetings in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am really happy to meet you all through this media. It is a great privilege for me to share the word of God with you and I am really thankful to Reverend Raviraj who gave me this wonderful opportunity. Before getting into the sermon, let's look to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time. As we are going to meditate your words, let's speak with us. Open our hearts and minds to hear your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once I asked the same question to three youngsters, that is, after your death, God is giving you another chance to live. So, what would you do? I got the same answer from three of them. That is, I will enjoy my life, fulfill all my dreams. Moreover, I want well-settled life. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that's what the thinking of most of the people is. But what Jesus did after his resurrection is totally different. Let's look what he did. The first thing, he took away all the fear from his disciples. In the book of John, chapter 20, verse 19 says, When it was evening on the day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were well locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After the death of Jesus, his disciples were collapsed mentally and physically. They can't come out from the shock about the crucified death of Jesus. Disciples are one whom always with Jesus. They saw the miracles of him. They saw the power of Jesus when he stopped the storm. They saw the mighty thing of Jesus when he gave life to Lazarus. But now that Jesus died on the cross, Jesus clearly told them that I am going to die, but I will rise up again on third day. His disciples forgot about his resurrection after the crucifixion of Jesus. The fear filled in their hearts. They started to worrying about their future. Fear about the Jews were made them hidden in a room. In that time only, Jesus appeared to them and said, Peace be with you. After they saw Jesus, the fear gone from their heart and the peace filled in their heart and mind. That's what Jesus did. Yes, my dear brothers, and sisters and friends do you have fear about your future do you have fear about your family do you have fear about your business do you have fear about your children don't worry the resurrected Jesus will give you peace he will take out all the fears from your hearts he will take care of all your needs and the second thing that Jesus did was he gave hope to his disciples and to everyone. What is that hope? The first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 says, For the Lord himself with the cry of command, with the archangels call, and with the sound of God's trumpet will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. So the hope that Jesus given to all of us is, if we die also, we will rise up one day with Christ. What a joy it is. The most of the people's thinking is after death, nothing is there. But we know death is not an end, but it is a new start to the eternal life. Every human has to die because God said we are all created from the mud, so we will return to it. No one can change it. 
but after our death another life is there that is life of heaven and that life is without jesus jesus christ died but third day he resurrected from that he gave hope to us that death is not the end we will rise up one day and will live in christ many people has fear about their death no one like to die everyone wants to live happiest life in this world but that's not possible we have to die but we should not have fear about this worldly death we should have fear about eternal death if we miss that we will suffer a lot so take out all your fear about this worldly death have fear about god obey god's word and keep hope in your heart that if you die in christ then you will rise up one day and will have a beautiful life may god bless you all let us pray the creator of heaven and earth we thank you for this wonderful time which you given to all of us we believe that you really spoke with us lord i am submitting each and every one who is hearing your words let your peace fill in their heart take out all the fears take out fear about the future families friends business children and etc and give them hope about the second life give them hope about the eternal life let's your guidance be with all of them in jesus precious name i pray amen my dear brothers and sisters once again my heartfelt thanks to each and every one who gave me this opportunity and above all i thank god because he has given this opportunity to share his word with them and and i'm really thank uh, everyone raviraj he is my best friend so uh, he gave me this opportunity to share the word of god with you all so i'm really thankful to him to this sermon may god bless all of us let us all keep praying for our nation our god will do a miracle and our god will do a great thing in our nation we will see one day in eternal life may god bless you all amen